Welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Ember Nuzlocke. Um, I have done some grinding, quite a bit of grinding. Um, and so let's let's kind of talk about what we have. We have trained Combustion to be, uh, well, he's just 77 experience, so be in the place I can. I wanted to wait and evolve him on the thing. Uh, we went back through and uh, I did most of the Trick House. I was going to make it a whole episode of the Trick House. But I was able to, like, beat every, all the trainers except for the last set with combustion really easily so I just deleted it I hope you guys don't mind it, it was gonna be a waste of an episode I mean it was just that quick um, everything was fairly low level until that last set and they were still only like level 36s um, after the boost so that they, they weren't out bad at all so uh, he's got a level and everyone else is getting level two around here but Brandon's another level higher and uh, I also trained up Ammonite up to level 21, I believe, um, or 24. I wanted to go ahead and try to get some levels on that. I didn't train anything else. I was going to train like everyone up until the 30s. I think kind of reliable, but I just decided not to because I didn't want to train that much. And when I can do it, like once I get to the sixth gym, and then I can battle. I can kind of like repeat those that double battle a punch and just really exp share up a mod like super quick up. So, I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was a good idea to do it quite yet. That's it. I did try to fight the first rebattle trainer. We will not be doing those anytime soon. Um, had a little iffy Claydol. And that uh, Claydilly, the fossil. And uh, thankfully, it didn't have anything to touch my uh, combustion. It was able to like knock out level 50 Pokemon on level. 30 combustion, which was nice. It got a lot of experience, but yeah, I'm not going to do any of the rebattles until my team's closer to their 50s. Um, I really don't want to deal with it. So we are just not, we're not even going to put the XP share on. We're going to immediately head all the way back down south to Duford for this episode. And uh, well, we're, we're going to battle a Pokemon. This Charmeleon is about to be. Wow, I could have had a level 27 Charmeleon. He's about to be. I accidentally messed up. I forgot Ember for Quick Attack. I was going to forget Peck. Um, it's okay, though. We do have Bulk Up on Red. Red. I'm hoping that this ability is good on Red. Like, I'm going to be sad if it's not. Uh, but we have the uh, Double Kick. Oh, and then it's just going to straight one-shot the Charmeleon. So there we go. There's the, the level. 588 experience. As you can see, it's just really easy to level up um, when you start fighting Pokemon in the level 30s. So, so yeah, we're gonna start the episode with an evolution. Red's becoming a big boy. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure that Flygon's gonna go on the PC from uh, the rest of the series. Uh, just doesn't really do a whole lot for my team right now. And I do, I do like Flygon a lot, but it just doesn't do. It doesn't cover anything on the team. If if anything, maybe. We are traveling place kicks, so yay, you know, we, we get to actually get rid of pack here. Uh, we want to keep double kick for a while until we get sky uppercut, I think. And even then, I, th I think double kick actually might be stronger than sky uppercut. We're really close to it. Uh, once you account for all the accuracy, it's useful fit. Oh, no, Charmeleon. And we forgot to look at our ability. We could see real quick if it's slow start or true. It's not. We'll see. It's not huge power, or we have a one shot the Charmeleon. <laughs> Gosh, we've had huge power Blaziken. I'd be more busted than slow Blaziken. What is our ability? Thick fat! Alright, so that makes red a just devastating. Absolutely devastating. Uh, Wall for fire types. As they will take half damage. That's really good. I like half damage. Alright, today's episode is Route 107 and beyond. And this was Route 107, right? Yeah, that's Route 107. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And, uh,. We can repel here. We got some items. Uh, I did pick up a rare candy. Oh, obviously, we're gonna wait. So 
So there we go. I also realized I could speed up, <laughs> probably, and re trigger up all the trainer refights really a lot quicker. So. Uh, okay. I completely forgot we had Brandon in the front. Oh, it's setting up call lines. Stop that. Okay, we need to like. We need to get rid of this thing immediately. It does have the psychic. Ooh, it's gonna do a lot. That does a lot to Brandon. We did get the egg bomb off though, so that's gonna do some good damage. Really good damage. Good chip on the Garvidar. Okay. Wait, I have Zelda? I don't even know what I'm doing. Zelda? It's like completely lost this thing. <laughs> there we go, Zelda, the wall. I need to put an EXP share on uh, Brandon, maybe? I'm trying to get him up into the 40s. If he was in the 40s, he could really handle the Garbodor. I also don't want to level him up quite yet, because I need to get the, the encounter here. Hypno. I'm going to go back and neatly heal, by the way, yes. <laughs> This is going to be an extremely long episode, guys. Um, probably on the neighborhood of over an hour to get through about 107 and about 108. And I think it might be about 109 as well as the beach. Okay. Let's go back to Doofer Town, heal up, and, and start trying to recounter. I decided to just go battle the trainer. <laughs> Right <coughs> Bob did a lot of damage though. Cool animation as well. We do have the uh we can still teach maybe teach Executor a lot of Pokemon move. Okay. Let's just get the encounter real quick. And in fact I'm not it's gonna be worried if I'm trying to get it at a high level, but just saves its training. But the encounters are called lava. <laughs> Let's put all the fire types. Cut the attack. That's good. Um, we're just gonna feed it. I'm not actually afraid of it. I'll we'll feed it again. I think it has flame will. We had Typhlosion earlier in the series, it got knocked out, so, uh... Yeah, it's gonna do about 10. And this is misses. This, I mean, this Kalava does not want to. Oh, it has Ember, it doesn't even have... Okay, and it did good, did good damage, but I knew it wasn't gonna do a lot. Just hit the, the Hypnosis. Oh, Artel Artelia actually learned Dragon Dance finally. Um, so I did forget Sing for it because I kind of wanted to keep its moveset the way it was. I'm not sure how to handle that Pokemon quite yet. I, I have Dragon Dance, which is wonderful. The problem is both Dragon... Like, Dragon Dance is really good for, like, Fly, and that's about it. So... I don't know. We'll just kind of see what his moveset is. I haven't looked up any moves. And, uh, I'm going to catch it right here. Yep. Perfect. Well, that was caught. I could have duped this, but I have a ton of fire Pokemon. Like, a ton. Um, so... We are going to name this Backup. Red. That's right. Red, this is your backup Pokemon. <laughs> you will still remain the Blaziken. Because <laughs> oh, I think Blaziken's a better Pokemon than uh, Kalava. As much as I like Kalava. Um, 
the fighting type really, really helps with a lot of uh, weaknesses that I can have. So, so Blaziken is our, our backup. And here we go, back to having the riffle in the episode. <laughs> Courtesies of Miss Rachel's. Maybe one day she'll she'll do a little spin act on the, the video for you guys. <laughs> da, da, da. We have lots of I mean just a. One of your videos has twenty five views on Twenty five views. Uh -huh. Okay, Rachel says twenty five views. She doesn't know yet that I've had twenty five views, but. Not on any of these Pokemon series these from uh, of late. <clears throat> We're gonna try to beat this uh, Magneton of Brandon. We're five levels under level. It also does 50 damage with its spark. That's a lot. Speaking of Brandon, we are now painting his room. Today? He texts me, he's like, I think I may paint our, my room today. And I got a TV mail and I got the stuff under. I was like, bitch, we'll do it! Okay. So that might be what we're doing afterwards. Oh, we're gonna take a spark. Don't get crit! Ooh! Oh, paralyzed! When's the last time the babies have been fed? They ate earlier. A lot. Okay. They, they got fat. Oh my goodness, that did so much damage. I'm actually going to... I'm gonna soda pop. I'm trying to get rid of my soda pops because I'm I don't know I've been re spaces quite a bit. Brandon took a big hit, but we're gonna get a confusion on the magnet. It's really nice, and we're gonna heal that paralyze. I think. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, I'm just running out of cherry berries. I don't have you know, enough cherry berries. Uh, this would be great if you got confused again. It does. Perfect. And we can just hit it with the confusion. Oh, it's going to snap out of confusion. Use the lock on. Locking on to Brandon. This Magneton's got its looks out on him. Hit it with the confusion. It's down to low health. And I'll just hit it with one more confusion. It's going to hit a pretty strong spark. Don't paralyze. Perfect. I don't have a lot of cherry berries. I do not want that. Uh, and the reason we stayed in is Brandon needs his special attack EVs, and that was that's two right there. And that's 1,345 experience. He lost in his home field. Actually, if, if, if this was a regular game, he would be doing pretty good because that Magneton would be destroying all these water Pokemon. Hmm. Alright. I have to be careful with Brandon on one thing, though, because he can be pursuit trapped. Um, and this almost happened uh, when I was. I don't know when. It, here we got a double battle here. Ooh, we're gonna do a double battle with some two weakest Pokemon. Nothing bad can happen to that, right? Houndoom and the Houndoom! Oh my goodness. There's a Houndoom, and then there's a Houndoom. Brandon, it has got to switch. We have to go to Zelda. And I guess we're double kicking one of the Houndooms. Just just gonna kick it. There are three Zeldas on this field. Oh, we've been smog. Why did they go for smog? And it gets the poison! Ah! In order to loop. Misses. That can miss. Oh, and just double kick just one shots that Zelda. One Zelda's gone, been double kicked. We have three Zeldas on the field, baby. Oh my goodness, one Zelda's pardon y'all. That's like 5,000 spots. That's 5,000 spots. 5, I do spots not have a way to heal po- Ooh, I don't have a way to heal poison. That's not good. Do I have anything? We do not have anything to knock out this poison, so we're just gonna bite. One Zelda bites, and then we have Red kick the other Zelda in the face. 
Yeah, that crit mattered heavily on the first. Well, maybe not heavily. I think it was still knocking it out. There we go. I mean, we, we have to be careful and actually get back and heal the Zelda. If I could turn those phone calls off, if you know how to turn those phone calls off, I want them off. Ah. Uh, the repels the fat boards off. If, if my Houndoom dies, like in the next two steps, I know it won't because I have over 100 HP in it. I could probably get the slate port and not actually heal that poison. Ooh, not having any poison items that healing you know, though is, uh, we need to make sure we grab some antidotes. I was hoping, I was trying to hold out for full heals. Uh, I like to condense the status healing spot to, oh, we could put another pal back on. I like to only have one status healing spot, because you only can hold like 25 items, so like, here's another trainer. The big reason this episode is going to take so long though is because of the, uh... There's an exact you. I don't know what this is going to have for me. Should we chant? We're going to chance it. It's going to hit the future site up. Come on, I need you to hit the egg bomb. The egg bomb! Oh. Big damage. It's going to hit the nightshade. It's going to do 36. That's going to do a lot actually. More than I kind of wanted to, but... We hit it with the thief. Oh, it knocks it out. I was not expecting that to be a knockout. About to use Firo. I'm gonna switch into Zelda on Firo. I should. I would switch in uh, on my Pupitar, but uh, Zelda can can make the. And we're just gonna overheat this. That's a gone fear. <laughs> Roast bird for dinner, guys. It has been torched. That's another level up for Zelda. 43. The more levels, the better. Try to learn faint attack. Yes. Yes. Alright, faint attack is bare. It's not even stronger than bite. <laughs> We're going to learn to forget how, though, because we don't have a physical move, so <laughs> I didn't realize that. Fain attack is not stronger than bite. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Here comes another exact you. That hits? What? Alright, that doesn't hit in later games. Future side is psychic, so you can switch into your dark type. <laughs> That's crazy. That, that actually hit. Oh, it has Wish. Don't have Protect. Just don't have Protect. What is that? Ooh, that's actually kind of cool that it has Wish. That'd be actually a good Pokemon. Um, arguably, that would actually solve my fighting and ground weakness in one big Pokemon. So, if Okay. We keep red up in the front, but we're gonna switch in Steelix. And we're gonna go ahead and heal the Brandon Brandon's. He took some damage there. We can super potion him up a little bit. And we can heal up Zelda. Zelda just has a monstrous HP pool. I mean I got some HP EVs for sure. Uh, I've made Zelda bulky, <laughs> apparently. There's a bulky hound do. Well, that is a, uh... We're gonna immediately go for that. No, oh, not quick attack. Blaze kick. We're gonna miss the blaze kick. Oh. We're getting nice... Egg bomb's gonna do a lot to red. Oh, that's gonna do a lot. Oh, that did so much! That's not what I wanted to see at all. Okay, we are going to take out the, that Pokemon right here now. We need to use it in here. Soda Pop. 
I will mostly heal up for its HP. Okay, Desclops is gone. Big damage. Big damage. Oh, I forgot I had confusion. Oh, that's gonna do a lot to red. Oh my goodness, red hangs on! <laughs> red hangs on! Zelda, go! <laughs> oh my goodness! Red hangs on with one HP, all because of. The <laughs> Dang that! This this executor is giving me some issues until I bite it or ember it in this case. Holy smokes! Man, that was rough. I completely forgot I had confusion. I was sitting here like, it's not a very strong pile come on. I can't do a lot. Man, it hit. Red red lives on with four HP. I probably play, I played that too risky. Oh, we have another encounter on this route. 108. Our 108 encounter. Mm. Sand slash. It might have earthquake. Have to kind of switch out for it. It has slash. Alright. Misclick there. Yeah, I definitely wanted to use Peck over Surf, that's for sure. I want to get rid of this thing as fast as I can. Since Lash has been since gone. Alright. We might make this two episodes. I'm not trying to make it two. I don't know yet. As a muck, I muck can't even hit my aggron. I'm just gonna go immediately for big damage because I know it's about to minimize a hundred times. Man, that's big damage! There we hit it. Muck is gone. Yes. Again, still looks leveled up. What's that noise? Oh. Okay, I think there's an item. There's the abandoned ship. There's an item on this room. Yep. No. What? Okay, there's definitely an I I think there's an item. If I'm like I'm trying to remember all the way from my childhood. But here we are at the abandoned ship. I don't remember. I think there might be a bed where we can heal at. This one maybe? Double battle time. Yeah. Here we go. Two Pokemon each. These old are trio. Ooh, that is not good. That's not a good Pokemon to see at all. I'm immediately going to call the Sne Sneasel out. And, oh, this is a really bad combo of Pokemon right here. I'm gonna go into underwear and see if we can't miss it, like earthquake or something. Miss the mud slap. Why did I go for mud slap? There's an agility, and we metal clawed that sneasel. Gone. Sneasel, an issue. There's a level up on Steelix. Level up on Red. Oh, there is the big old shark himself, Sharpedio. We're gonna switch you out here for 
for what? Who comes in? Everyone is weak to. Oh my goodness, my team has gotten so weak to water, I didn't realize it. Okay, I think Brandon. We get the surf off, that probably knocks out Duck Trio, and it does nothing to Sharp Pedo. Oh, that doesn't knock out Duck Trio at all. Got the Slash coming on my theory. Here's the Crunch. Not good. Grand takes a billion! Okay, we're gonna switch to red. <laughs> We've gotta get rid of the shark. We're going for the, the knockout on the shark. Oh, we get Saint Tombed! That's not good. Okay. I think I get a double KO. No. Yes. Quick attack into Surf is a double KO. Perfect. <laughs> this is some work here to get this. <laughs> Keeping everyone alive by really working out the team. <laughs> and here we go. Surf on the Saiyan Slash. We know this does a lot. <laughs> Beautiful. That took a lot, like a whole lot of work to, to like kind of like balance that out. The team took a ton of chip. Let me heal. There's a click. We got a blue shard. Rach, we found a blue shard. It's a shard that is blue. I want to think one of these rooms is a, a bad. We found another EXP share. We can <coughs> put two EXP shares on the team. That's really nice. Really good for grinding up and not over leveling the Pokemon. We will have to come back to the advantage ship, but I really like kind of like doing the early. Um, rewards of it because there is you can see that's actually we can get encounters on the ship if we want we will here's our encounter of the abandoned ship Teddy Ursa Ursaring level 8 um I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm just not gonna catch it it's it's not even worth trying to throw 40 Pokeballs at the Thing. Okay, well there was nowhere to heal so we are going to super potion this entire team to full. Mm. I'm playing with fire. My team is starting you can feel like these double battles are really difficult. Like that's it. that's some good healing right there, though, guys. There we go. If you made it to the halfway mark of the episode, let me know what you think about the episode. Because <laughs> we're at the halfway mark. So here we go. We're gonna set up the metal clawing. We're gonna get free out. That's gonna take down for about wow one damage. Man, Steelix is the wall for physical moves. You cannot touch him. And the quick claw pops. I love quick claw on slow Pokemon. I know it's just a ten percent chance. Uh, competitively, <laughs> you don't want to rely on it at all. But it's so awesome when you're doing a nice look. Um, I'm a little interested. In, oh, his team is normal. Um, but, but because our uh, Swabu is normal and then lost our dragon, uh, the game is gonna think it's 
That's interesting. His first Pokemon was a randomized Swablu, and it got because it got over level to 35, it force evolved. Called him Sapo. Think about it. Oh, no, no strainer right there. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's scary. I think we get a storage key or something around here for that room. Hello, Metagross. You are really a big problem, Pokemon. That does so little. But we get an attack boost, big boost. Pursuit does look nothing, like nothing. We're gonna keep metal clawing. Give me an attack boost. Dang. He he's got pursuit as his best move to take out uh Agros if we're gonna win this fight. Give me an attack boost. I'm asking for it, and not getting me yet. I have Iron Tail, which is a stronger move, but I was going to use it here. I guess I could have probably used that turn earlier. It's funny how they use the same animation for half the moves. <laughs> People love these games, but then they realize that. They the only difference between our metal claw, like all the still moves, is 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 the little hello. I was not expecting a double battle from a hiker dude and a little girl. Slow bro and what the f <laughs> no. Thank you. I don't want to fight either of you. Okay, we'll go to... That's not good. We have to heal Steelix. Uh-oh. We're gonna get red up, pumped up. We have to hit this slow bro hard. We're gonna go for the blaze kick. I don't know why I did because it strength did a lot. <laughs> Quick call activates, good stuff. And the double kick is gonna come in, hit the slow boat really hard. Love it. So we're just going to do nothing. I'm going to I'm going to take a risk and metal claw that. Uh. That Wapa Fat. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot more than I wanted it to. Oh, here comes the counter. Don't take it, Steelix! Steelix is gone. No! <laughs> I took a big risk. <laughs> And we lose Steelix for it. No, he's gone. Just like sometimes what the red things do on Smash Game. Take a risk and they get it home. No. Oh, that is that is an awful feeling right there, guys. Uh, we're just going to attack it. <laughs> so we kill. was not I should have played the safer. Alright, we, we lost our Agron in this episode. What a big loss. Uh, that just means Metagross gets to come to the team, though. So. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I took a risk there for no good reason. What'd you get? Cocky. <laughs> not cocky. I didn't want to sit there and take 30 turns to knock the stupid wobble head out. That was a joke. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Alright, 
But we got underwear out for two fire types, which is good news. Probably should have switched because Charizard is a Charizard, but I thought this would knock out the Magmar. We go to sleep for it. That's okay, Magmar. Magmar can put us to sleep because I think that means Charizard goes knock goes down next turn. Hmm. I am so <laughs> mad at myself. No reason to take the risk, and I take it for no good reason too. I'm just gonna scary face my team. That's okay. Charizard has a scary face. Oh. My poor Agron! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Because Agron was assisting to the, the the ground weakness that my team is so bad at. And my sharp PDO weakness. <laughs> And we do have Matakros, who can kind of come in and be a better Steelix. I'm so upset, though. Um, yeah, we got 100,000 experience on that aggro. I'm just gone. I must have barely did enough damage to get that, that knockout, too. Where's the storage key? The scanner's in the water. Mm. If this game likes me, it'll give us a new Agron on this route. And we're gonna get a TM, I believe, here. Yeah, Rain Dance. Okay. And when we come back on the next episode. Um, we're going to Metagross. I'm going to tell you right now there will be a Metagross on this team. <laughs> uh, I need my defensive wall back. It's my fault for, like, playing around with a Waffle Fan. I should have just switched immediately into uh, someone and just started our uh, Executor and start hypnosing it down. Man, I'm mad at myself. I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> and we'll we, we, it's okay though because like we'll, we'll figure everything out with the team as uh, as we go through the series, and we're gonna lose bonds. Okay, we're gonna lose bonds, and that's. Yeah, it's, it's sucky that that's a mon we lost. I hate this when you switch in a mon and it's got Sandstream and immediately activates and immediately chips. I should not take chip damage right here. It's okay because Swain Attack's knocking this out. <coughs> oh. Okay. I'm trying to think of my team now. We still have a huge ground and kind of a rock weakness too. Uh, that right now, but like, man, we're just we're just running around with these monster weaknesses. Where's the X hacker? See, give me baby Akron. It, okay, so guys, I want to know what you think. Should I have to fully retrain it or just switch out my, my two Akrons? We need our encounter real quick. And we'll get the double battle first. We have two encounters, maybe, um, like I said, we can get lucky and get Aggron again. We need to be real lucky and get Aggron again. Just saying, game. I want a new one. <laughs> Six Pokemon. They're not going to taunt me with an Aggron? Oh my goodness. We're just going to go ahead and surf. I should have switched. Why didn't I not switch out red? That was bad. I'm um, just not playing Ruka today, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. And get poison point. Oh. I 
We're in trouble. Sol Rock. We have to switch out red because this this wish cache is a wish cache. Can't believe we have this in Pokemon. I guess the brain. Mm -hmm. I don't have. I wish I had a grass move on Brandon. So Rock Picks. Oh, here we go. This is what everyone wants. Cosmic Power Soul Rock. An Amnesia Wish Cast. The defenses are going up on the. Well, the trainer has decided to stall. I'm gonna keep surfing here. Because we knock that soul rock out next turn, I think. Oh, big crit. Here comes the side wave. Ooh, I don't like side wave. That did a lot. Here comes another amnesia. Wow, damn, wish cash. Nope, oh, all those defenses were for not. Here comes another water type. Or we have a ground type. Ooh. Hyper potion on the soul rock. Ooh, that that's not what I wanted to see at all. The surf and art here. Yeah. Dolphin's gonna take oh dolphin took a lot. And he gets confused. Perfect. Hit yourself. This battle has... Tides have changed in this battle. Here is the Marowak. I'm gonna go ahead and thief the Soul Rock because I need to get another chip hit on it. Oh, I should have... I could have hit the Marowak and took it out. I don't think Marowak can actually touch my Australia. Oh wow, Brain knocks it out. <sighs> Soul Rock is back. We're gonna go for Surf. Do good damage to the Soul Rock. Knock out the Marowak. Ooh. <coughs> <gasps> it's got rock through. Then we lose our tower. Nothing to repair. No. Are you kidding me? Under her. Uh. Oh my goodness. This is an awful episode. This is just an awful episode. We now we lose the true. We're gonna have to really worthy of our rebuilding this team out. Mm. Oh, that's that's just not good. <sighs> okay, we still have a one or eight encounter, but we haven't got yet. We're able to surf all the way back to 107 before we get in the 108 encounter. Man. Underwear is gone too. Rachie, underwear is gone. Rest in peace, underwear. The Soul Rock had Rock Row for some reason. <laughs> mm. Okay. We have to rebuild this team out completely, pretty much. We've got our two best defensive Pokemon are now in the box. That is really bad.
we are like, let's see here. We are so dramatically weak to like ground and rock, it's not even funny. Like really, really weak to ground and rock. And I can't even improve it, hardly. I think I gotta bring Farapa on the team for now. And... I'm a star. I'm gonna bring in the Lord Helix himself. We trained him to 21, like I said. I did teach him Rock Smash. I think someone else has Rock Smash. Uh, Tom has Rock Smash. Okay. Well, we have some overlap on the HM, so that's okay. And, and we need strength on someone at some point. Is it better for Red to have strength? Yeah, I think Red should have strength over Quick Attack. Hmm. <coughs> I mean, none of the Pokemon I, I put on the team help at all, my weaknesses, but I don't really have a lot to do. I guess I could get... I'm going to switch out uh, our uh, one Pokemon for Matang, I think. We're about to have a large grinding section, guys. Large section. We have to get a grass move on the, the, the our uh, executor. It would c clean up the weaknesses quite a bit. Hey, at least the fighting Pokemon aren't getting as bad as they were. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to be leveling up this team, all, probably everyone to 40. Starting with the Ammonite, most likely, because the Ammonite should be able to knock out all these fire Pokemon on this route really easily, and it's the weakest Pokemon. Here's 108. We can now get an encounter here, still. Aim. I'd like an encounter. Okay, I'd like a trainer instead of an encounter. Hi, Rachel. Fortress! Hey, it's got self destruct and can kill a lot right here. We don't hit the blaze kick. We hit the blaze kick. <laughs> Thankfully, we hit the blaze kick. And Lord Helix takes some experience away from the whole team. Okay. Hey, you two. That's 109, so we have to get a 108 encounter. And then we can get the 109 encounter. Oh. There's other. There's our 108 encounter. It's a dragon dare! Ooh! Ooh, it's dragon dare. Alright. I do want this encounter. It will take a good bit to, to level up Dragonair, but Dragonair is a great encounter. <sighs> Let's just hit Gnosis it. Mm. This can be a Dragonite at level 55. <laughs> That's going to be so long. And I might legit train it out to 55. On the next episode, we might have a level 55 Dragonite. Nah, it won't be that early. <coughs> Dragonite's gonna sit in the PC though for a bit. Unless it has huge power. And then it's gonna be in the team. Then it's gonna be sad because it's most likely gonna lose a huge power on the evolution. I need to chip it. I'm gonna have to go out to. I can't chip it with Brandon. I don't think Dragonair is really frail. 
I think I could chip it with the Ammonite though. And I'm just gonna keep throwing balls because there's no reason not to. Should be freed from wrap here. Yeah, there it goes. Let's let's go to Ammonite and start chipping. We're not going outside. We've been outside so much today. I'm just gonna hit with a, a sir. Yeah, it's just gonna set up wrap, paralyze, and start twistering my Pokemon now. Wow. I'm gonna do a lot with Surf. Let's be real, guys. That was a lot. That was a whole lot. Like an Ammonite, just going to, to go for it. Tons of damage. Three turn wrap, perfect. We can now switch into the Executor. We're gonna get both encounters and call it the episode. We will have to do Lat 109. A different day, I guess. Mm. All right, try to kiss this dragon here. Not gonna go in that Pokeball. I know it isn't. Does not want to be in that Pokeball. I need to heal that, but <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh, misclick, no! Yeah! <laughs> Bell now, by the miss. <laughs> oh no, I was, oh, I was about to start like crying because I really need this encounter to keep my team good. Oh, no. Okay, Dragon is back asleep. Come on, Great Balls. We have to get the Dragon there. It's asleep, right now. Come on, Dragon here. Yes! We got a female Dragonair! And I'm gonna nickname this female Dragonair after my lovely girlfriend. You wanna be my Dragonite? Sure, I'll try Okay. Rage! All. Oh. It's gonna be the Dragonite. The Dragonite is gonna be on the team. It is gonna be. A bit though before the Dragon Knight's on the team. But we will have said Dragon Knight on said team. <clears throat> it's just, it's a much better. Will you two stop? It's a much better artillery, yeah. It's just a perfect replace. And then we get another counter, which is another Dragon Knight. Oh my goodness. The only thing that would have made that better is that the Dragon Knight was like level 30 instead of like level 20. <laughs> this makes training it gonna be painful. But. And here's our 109 encounter. Obviously, we're not gonna do the 109 route. Oh, it's a slowpoke. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Okay, slowpoke is actually good. Ooh, slowpoke is actually really good. We should be able. To <laughs> Zelda, stop. I should be able to hit it with a confusion and not have to worry about this thing. Uh... Ooh, I have, ooh, I do have a King's Rock. I wonder if I can King's Rock it into a... Use the King's Rock onto it? I wonder how that works. I prefer Slow King over Slow Bro, I think. to sleep. This should be an easy catch. Yeah, I can tell you right now that, that we're going to be putting uh, our Ammonite away for the Slowpoke. As much as I like the Ammonite, <clears throat> Slowpoke is such a good Pokemon. I'm going to figure out how to get a Slow King. Who should be the Slowpoke? Rachel. Rudy. All right, Rudy's now a slow poke. Actually. 
Let's say I think I have it already. AV. I spell AV. AV one. AV one. Baby Avery is gonna be a slow poke. And there we go. That will be the episode. Thanks everyone for watching. It's an hour long episode, almost 55 minutes already on the timer. I was hoping to get through all all of that one 109 as well, but there's just no way. It's just not happening <clears throat> in this episode. And uh, so the next episode will be Route 109. And we'll, it'll probably be just Route 109 because I need to have a little bit of a short episode after this huge. I mean, this is just a monster episode. But I knew it would be Encounters Galore. Good stuff, though. And uh, really losing this, the Steelux really cost me because uh, I would have been able to have Steelux out there versus all those those rock hooking one. Uh, but nah, my team was just so weak to it. So, he is what it is. You can say bye to Lord Helix. He's a good Pokemon. He's just not going to be on this team. And we're going to be running... <laughs> we have switched from uh, free dark types to free psychic types. <laughs> All of a sudden. Oh, we have a Dragon Scale on the Rachel. Has Oblivious. And Volt Absorb on the Slowpoke. That's really cool. That's actually really cool. Alright, Almanite's going to go in here. I'm actually thinking... Let's see here. How is this team going to fit? I like Slowpoke, Blaziken, Executor, Houndoom. I, th I think... I really like Metagross. Metagross doesn't provide me anything, though. Right now. But I don't have with everyone else. Let's see. You're weak to... My flying weakness is okay. It's not great, but it's, it's decent. Ground weakness has been resolved heavily. Yeah, that's only three mods weak to ground instead of five. The rock weakness is only down to two. Fighting is only two with two big resist. Dark type. I have a big old Blaziken that says no dark types. Loud. Ice type. Blaziken just balls ice types. I'm just kind of looking through the types. I think this is the team, guys, for now. And uh, we're going to just really get this team trained up. It's going to take a good minute. But uh, I can tell you right now, Slowpoke's about to do some work. He's about to do a lot of work. And we're going to put him a King's Rock on him, too. Because I really want him to do work. Okay, he might evolve into a Slow King. And that's fine. I like looking a little bit better than Slowpro. And we're going to learn Surf. Okay. And we have, right now we have all our teams covered. HMs. Alright, see you in the next episode. <laughs>